Today I want to show you guys how to use exuberant C tags to create a tag list to jump to function and method definitions within your Drupal projects. This can be really helpful when working on a big project like Drupal that has a lot of code written by other developers. I'll print my working directory to show that I'm currently in a Drupal 8 project folder. And then I'll list the files and scroll up so you can see that this is a fresh Drupal 8 install. Everything in Drupal gets routed through index.php, so I'll use my Vim text editor to open this file. As I scroll down, you'll notice that there's an instantiation of a method called Drupal kernel. However, I may not be familiar with what this method is actually doing. If I use the control closing bracket command in order to try to see the tag list, it will notify me that no tags are available. This is because I need to first install C tags and then create a tags file recursively throughout the directories in my Drupal project. If I type the C tags command, Ubuntu will notify me that I don't currently have C tags installed. I'll copy the package name that Ubuntu has specified. In this case, it's exuberant C tags. And then I'll update my package manager to make sure that I'm getting the most recent version of the software. Now I'll run sudo apt get install exuberant hyphen c tags. Then I'll just clear my back scroll so the following commands are easy to read. From the base directory of your project, run the c tags command followed by an r flag and then a star to specify that you want all the files and directories of your project. Now if you list everything in your base directory, you should see a new file called tags. This lists the locations of all the methods and functions throughout your project. It allows you to jump to the original code in your Vim text editor in order to see the logic that's happening behind the scenes. So if we edit index.php again, this time we can use the control closing bracket function on the Drupal kernel method. This will take you directly to where the method's defined so you can inspect the code. Drupal kernel implements an interface called Drupal kernel interface. Again, we can use control closing bracket to inspect this original code. Simply use the control T command in order to traverse back up to the method where you were previously. If you want help doing other things like viewing your function definitions in a split pane, there are a lot of great resources online, including Stack Overflow that can help you figure this out. I hope this quick tutorial helped you get started. As always, thank you for watching.